Good evening and welcome to VIP Promotions here at the Grand Central Hall in Liverpool. The first bout of the evening tonight is between James Francis of Liverpool, Stephen Vincent of Dorsa. Yeehaw! Boom, boom, shit, with round one. Commentary team tonight is Mike, Action Gormley, and Lee Top of Whitehead. VIP live tonight. Nice bright start by the uh, guy from the blue corner, Stefan Vincent, in his eighth professional outing. Won one, lost six. Nice big route to the body there. No one time finds it, James Francis. He's in his fourth professional outing. Three wins, one stoppage. Yeah, it was a little bit strange that from. Vincent. You... Sorry, Lee. Right. Yeah, from the uh, obviously... Stefan in the away corner, and you don't usually see that. The away fighter coming straight out and getting on the front foot. It's a nice aggressive start. Yeah, it's going to be an interesting fight for a 32 year old. He's come, it looks like he's come to win. Or at least give it a go. Referee tonight, driver's referee David Mulholland of Liverpool. Yeah. James Francis, aggressive. We've seen all three of his fights, Mike, before this today. Always yeah, puts a good show on. Yeah, no, the Auburn Olympia. He's obviously fight, fighting away from the Olympia tonight, but he, obviously we're still at home in Liverpool here. Nice left hook counter there by Vincent. Yeah, I think so. So far, though, I think Vincent's taking this round. Yeah, I've got to agree with you. Very unorthodox, leading with that backhand. It's going again with a jab. Yeah, and as, as we always say, Lee, you know, we're in full agreement. I think that we like to see these away fighters come and, you know, have a little go, test these up and coming young kids, these prospects. Yeah, um, Francis turned southpaw. Vincent certainly got him in the back foot. It'd be interesting to see if he comes out the second round with a, you know, same, same ambition. Yeah, it's four threes. Francis just taking his time, no, he's not rushing in. Yeah, Mr. Vincent's pointing down a little bit now. Leading with a backhand, it's not working anymore. Sometimes when the boxers run off the docks, you know, you know, you're not, they're not the usual shots. You, you, you do get caught with these, these mad shots. Yeah, I think Francis as well, you know, even though it's early rounds, as we said before, it's four rounds, so... I think he's, he's the one who should really start to impose himself in the first round. He's obviously playing catch-up then if he loses the first. Obviously, again, that's, that's only our opinion. You know, it's, we're, not, we're not scoring this fight. Well, 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 I'm like you, Mike. I've got Vincent winning that first round. Traps again. Boom, boom. Shake the room. Bound two. Yeah, um, Vincent led with the backhand all the time there. You know, as I said before, very unorthodox. Nice that. See, if, uh, Mr. Francis worked him out this round. Yeah, the, the Wasp is certainly going for it. Same again in the second round. Francis has got to be careful. The Wasp hasn't got a big sting in that right hand. He's certainly throwing it with a bit of intention. James Francis today, um, with Jay Khan in his corner. He's got to work this guy out. Nice, nice, nice double cut from Vincent. It's Francis uh, came forward. He's quieting down a little bit, but the second round so far started very much like the first round. Vincent on the back foot, but the aggressor. And James has got to work him out. Referees have nothing all to do, which sometimes signifies a great fight. James has worked out now, he's leading that backhand all the time. So he's not hitting now. Francis certainly got the height and reach advantage. Work there by Francis is rolling his way in, catching the punches. Yeah, 
Well, he, see, he seems to be struggling to catch up with Vincent Francis. He's landing the odd one or two, but Vincent seems to be in control for me. I think it's obviously catch up time for Francis. The wasp's mm -hmm. having a rest, the, the, wasp, the wasp calling the tempo here. Yeah, he's certainly got a, he's got a good jab on him. Yeah, again, for me, I mean, Vincent's taking control of this fight. I don't want to speak too soon, but... I think Francis just needs to step it up the second half of the fight as long as we get through this second round. He's, he's very enough of that style, certainly working. If we separate him for the first time. If Francis is going to win this, he's got to, he's got to apply the pressure. He's got to work him out. He's got to work harder when he gets inside like now. And look at the uppercut. Doing exactly that's what he's got to do. He's got to work him if he wants to win it. Yeah, just looking at this, I'm surprised at Francis's record, really. Nice left hook by Francis. Sorry, not Francis. From the last Vin ten. Vincent's record, sorry. Well, well lost six. Yeah. Boom, boom, shake the room. Round three, the schedule four. Interesting first bout. One and six, Stefan Vincent van Dorset is in against three and oh, James Francis of Liverpool. It's easy to say Francis obviously needs to up, you know, up his game and, and take these two rounds, but obviously... Vincent's not allowing him to do that, but I think Vincent's boxing really well. He's got great footwork, he's nice and elusive. He's doing what he should be doing, really, just popping that jab out and just moving off and catching Francis when he comes in. James is stalking him, pushing him backwards. Same Vincent's again. still scoring. Yeah, I think Francis is just struggling to get to Vincent. Is it now just simply jabbing and moving? Francis Cornerman calling him on. That'd be my shout. He's got to get in there, wear him down now. Absolutely. I think he just needs to get in and rough him up. Forget you know, the, the clever boxing. He's, he's realised that he's going now. To have a fight. He's Otherwise, got... the fight's going to slip away, Mike, so to interrupt. No, no, I was just about to say, you know, he's obviously, Francis is trying, but Vincent isn't allowed to get in there. You know, he's not allowed, allowed to be a target for Francis. I have to say, you know, that's off to uh, Vincent. I'm, I'm, I'm impressed with his performance so far. Did a really good job. He came in a plan, this does a lovely shot there by Francis. Vincent Olds. Yeah, he's a beautiful over and right. I think he was startled, Vincent, more than anything. I don't think he's majorly hurt. Francis is trying that shot again. He knows he can reach Vincent with it. Francis got a stoppage in September. Knocked out. Simus, got Valinska. Well, as he has. So he has got a stoppage. He can stop people. He needs one now. Oh, lovely right hand over the top, right on the temple. Doesn't rock Vincent, though, he comes straight back and up and got his own. Shout to the body. I think James understands the urgency now. The last ten of the third round. How have you got that round, Mike? I, um, I think Francis could have hit that one just on his aggression, really. It was quite a close round. Yeah. I totally agree on that. I think Stefan Vincent's legs have gone a little bit here. <laughs> boom, boom, shattering. Rock, boxers touch gloves for the fourth and final round. An interesting last round here. We think that um, myself and Mike think that James Francis needs this big, needs this big, this last round big, or even a stoppage to take this fight. Yeah, absolutely. I think, you know, obviously Francis needs to win this round. 
what you know whether they win the fight again we're not we're not the scorers we're not we don't give the decision at the end of the day we just need this round on our on our cards really though and I think you know if he does get the round he just nicks the round then it's going to be for us it's going to be a draw but again we, we're not doing the, we don't decide that the decision I'm, I'm sure Francis is calling though they've told him he needs this round you know he needs something big in this round lovely shot there body shot there from Francis he's in top Nick Today, 10 stone one. He just got caught with an overhand right there by Vincent. Vincent certainly going from this rough round as well. Yeah. Big shots there by Vincent. Francis did get a stop his last time out against Simos Volosinas on the 16th of September, three weeks ago. That was it, Limpy? Obviously, we were there, Lee, on that one. We saw that one. So, obviously, a I think Francis needs to uh, get a stoppage to win the, the fight convincingly. Stefan Vincent thinks otherwise though. Looks like he's going for his second professional win here in Liverpool. Would be much of this may of James Francis. Yeah, I just, I just don't think Francis has been able to work him out tonight. I think he's just been having a bit of an off day. Or maybe it's awkwardness. But again, you know, Vincent, I think he's done a fantastic job tonight. Boxed got, really well and a great opener for the fans. Yeah, you've got to work out the man in front of you. Nice shot there by Francis. It's not faced Vincent. No, Vincent, Vincent still looks fresh. Francis just looks frustrated, really. Obviously, he's not been able to get to Vincent as, as he'd like to. Oh, that's a lovely over on right. Vincent took it well. As we enter the last 10 seconds, Cornerman Kearney calling him on. Be interested to see how soon this goes. I've got it. Sir Vincent raises his arms aloft, the away fighter. Yeah, I think I'd have the same to you later. Three rounds to one, but we'll just wait for the, the, the sort of MC's announcement. See how the referee scores it. Yeah, wait for referee. Um, the referee, David um, Mulholland, waiting for the non scoring referee, waits for the decision of A star Mark Lyson, waiting for MC Steve Reed to give the decision. You know, just Vincent there as he's uh, having a little bit of a breather, walking around with his hands in the air. Seems to uh, have a bit of confidence in himself. He thinks he's nicked it. Scored it right there. 39 to 38. But Vincent very happy. Taking an away win there.
for all boxing info, news and latest interviews, amateur and pro, across the north, click and subscribe, VIP boxing promotions, also Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.